Hi guys, so I am back with my first Bath and Body Works semi-annual sale for winter 2016. Um, I'm sure I'll have others, possibly, I don't know, it just depends on what I find, so I'm just calling this one part one. Um, so yeah, yesterday I got up and <laughs> I actually got up at 4, like 4.45, left my house by 5.30 to drive um, an hour, a little over an hour to go to the Bath and Body Works um, out of town because they have white barns and of course white barn typically usually has a whole lot more candle selection um, so yeah I was there when they opened at 7 o'clock and it was a neat experience it's like you know um, people were already there of course but you know it was you know laid back and mellow and you could shop without all of the people and uh, it was just nice so I had a good time um, yeah, so I'm just going to jump right into what I got, and if you guys found anything really cool at a good deal, feel free to comment below. I like to see what people get for the good deals. Um, I know sometimes you'll find like a rare gem um, that you got for a good deal, so that's always fun. But anyway, to jump into it, I guess I'll start with candles. So yesterday was $10 candles. Um, today, yesterday was the last day for $10 candles. Today, unfortunately, they're only half off. So if they're $22.50, they're $11.25 a piece, which still isn't bad, especially if you, especially if you have that uh, 20 off 50 coupon, if you still have some of those. They actually expired the 24th, uh, but as always, Bath & Body Works has a three-day grace period. So, you know, always be sure to hold on to your coupons for a few days after. Um, so, yeah, not too bad if you still have that coupon, but of course $10.00. And that keep on is a better deal. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to jump right into the candles, I guess. Okay. So, I found some more Cider Lane, which I love Cider Lane. I literally have, like, the biggest stash of Cider Lane. Because you don't know if they're going to bring it back next year for fall. Um, you don't know if they'll repackage it as something else. You know, give it a new name, whatever. So, I always try to stock up on the candles that I really love that I'm afraid maybe won't come back. Because um, they did this one you know, several years ago, and then they went a couple years, and they didn't do it, and they did it this year, so you never know, but Cider Lane is absolutely one of my favorite fall fragrances ever, um, if you never tried it, definitely try to go and check it out, if you can find one, uh, the notes in it are warm caramel, granny smith apple, dark brown sugar, and ground clove, and while, and while all that sounds, you know, nice, it typically just smells like, uh, warm gooey caramel apples it's just delicious so delicious i love this one and i there was three of them left but i just got two because one of the labels was messed up on one of them and i cannot stand a messed up label <laughs> so i passed on that one but i did grab these two and um, the next one that i grabbed was the pumpkin cupcake um i actually did not have one of these this year which is so crazy i don't know why it's like, I smelled it like earlier when it first came out, and I was like, yeah, I'm just not feeling it. And then I smelled it while I was at the semi-annual sale, and I'm like, you know what, why have I not burned one of these? Why did I not, why did I not burn one in fall? Um, I love it. It's just a classic uh, fall fragrance. And the notes in it are whipped buttercream, pumpkin spice, and vanilla cupcake. And this one just smells exactly what it sounds like. It's just a sweet pumpkin cupcake. And I also got two of those. And then I was kind of surprised to see this one. I figured this one would be long gone. That's the vanilla pumpkin marshmallow. Um, I just love this one. <sighs> love it, love it, love it. So sweet. Um, I'm, I'm typically drawn more towards the foodie sweet scents. I typically like those best. Um, but yeah, I got this one. And the notes in it are creamy vanilla, pumpkin spice, homemade marshmallow, and drizzled caramel. You just get the vanilla, the caramel, and uh, the marshmallow in this one. It's just... It's so sweet and so good. And I actually found two, so I was excited. Woohoo! And then I found a pumpkin pie. Thought I'd go ahead and snatch it up. What the heck? Um, the notes in it are creamy pumpkin, vanilla cream, fresh ground nutmeg, and graham cracker crust. And I feel like that since this is like cured a little bit, I feel like I, that graham cracker crust like sticks out the most to me. And I really love like that graham cracker crust smell. And I noticed that this one had a turkey lid on it. 2016 turkey lid. So I was like, that's a bonus because that's not the correct lid. 
Um, it's supposed, it should have the pumpkin lid on it, I believe, just like, you know, this one. But I was like, woohoo, bonus little lid. Because I, ne I, I never got a candle that had the turkey lid on it, I don't think. Um, and then I found this little gem um, all by itself, the only one. That's the Spiced Pomegranate Cider. I really liked this one when it was out for fall. And the notes in it are ruby red pomegranate, sweet apple cider, mulled blackberry, star and ice. It just smells so good. It, it does. It's like it smells like it almost smells like apple cider mixed with pomegranate. It's fruity. Um, just good. I was glad to find that one. And then I for sure wanted to find some more of this one. That's the hot cocoa and cream. Um, I found they probably had four. I think maybe four. I grabbed two because I already had a couple in my stash. But I love this one. It smells just like a packet of Swiss hot chocolate with like the little marshmallows in it. It's delicious. And again, it's one that you don't know if they will do it next year or not. So if you love it, grab it. And um, the notes in it are decadent milk chocolate, fresh steamed milk, and mini marshmallows. So yeah, I grabbed two of them. Like I said, I think I've seen four. Grabbed me two of them. And then I grabbed a berry vanilla bean. I grabbed a couple of these back when they did the candle sale, the 850 candle sale. Um, and since, I don't know, I found, I mean, there was like plenty of this one left, but I just went ahead and grabbed another one because like I said, again, you don't know if they're going to bring it back. Uh, the notes in it are winter berries, ruby red pomegranate, lush vanilla bean, and a twist of mandarin. And this one smells so similar to Lucky Charms marshmallows. That's what it reminds me, it reminds me of is the marshmallows in Lucky Charms. Delicious smelling. Delicious. I mean, delicious. Love it. And then this one, th let me tell you another reason you go in the morning. When you, If you go early in the morning, they don't have everything right. They don't have everything figured out yet. Um, for instance, there was one lady that bought the mahogany teak wood, the intense version. You know, the one that comes in like the black jar. It's like the high intensity version. And they had a whole stack of those on the $10 table. It rung up uh, full price, I believe. And those were not supposed to be on the $10 table, but since, you know, it was early in the morning, it was, you know, one of their first customers, they went ahead and overrid, overrid, is that a word? Override, overrided <laughs> the price and gave it to her for $10. Same thing happened to me. They had this endless weekend candle um, on the, you know, the $10 candle table, and it wasn't supposed to be. This one was full price, and since it was, you know, one, I was one of their first customers, um, they went ahead and overrided the price for $10 and gave it to me for the good price. I was like, yeah, I love the Endless Weekend Candle. So, so good. Um, so yeah, that's another, plus this one is priced at $24.50. So even, you know, an even better deal. And so, you know, they'll go pull all of those candles off that table once they realize they're not supposed to be on there. So just things are like messed up and they're just not, they just don't have it all together yet because there's just so much stuff. So I just always recommend going like first thing in the morning. Uh, the notes in the Endless Weekend are fresh summer mandarin, sun-kissed magnolia, and coconut water. That mandarin and coconut water is just delicious. I just, I love that fragrance. But that is all the candles that I got. Oh, no, 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 where's my, I can't forget these. I, in, I smelled all of the aromatherapy candles. I like the eucalyptus tea. Um, I don't know why I didn't grab one, but as far as like the lemon zest and the, I think eucalyptus tangerine, is that what it's called? I, I just didn't like that one. And I wanted to smell the sandalwood and fig. I didn't like that one. Um, the only one that I really, really love is the black chamomile. And here is what it looks like. And this one is the relax version. And it's just, I can't believe I only grabbed two. Because again, you don't know if they're going to do it again, you know. Um, the notes in it are, or it says made with bamboo charcoal extract and chamomile essential oil. Now this one I feel is definitely on the lighter side of, you know, like candles. I don't think it's going to be a super strong candle, but for what it's for, you know, to use it to relax, I think if you just kind of set it on a, like your, like maybe on your table beside you, like, or, you know, in your bedroom or something, I feel like it'll be okay. Um, I just, I love this smell. I, they, I don't know 
I don't know <laughs> really what chamomile smells like. I've never like, I don't know, like chamomile tea. I've never like had it or anything. But this one is just, I just love it. When I smell it, I just know that it's like, it just smells relaxing. Like I just really like it. So I grabbed two of that one and I definitely, I don't know why I didn't grab a couple more. I should have, but I, I'm just, I'm loving that one. And then I'll move on to like my 75, oops, sorry, my 75% off body care. Uh, most of the body care that I got was only 50% off, but the one that I really loved from fall was the pumpkin apple cider, and they had it for 75% off. So I grabbed the lotion and the shower gel and the pumpkin apple cider fragrance mist. Um, I just, I really adored that scent. It's so good. If you never got a chance to try it, try to find it at your Bath and Body Works because it's just good stuff. And then the rest of the body care, I believe, was 50% off. They did bring back the lemon pomegranate cream. This was one of my favorite fragrances that they came out with um, in this collection. Um, it's just, it smells like candy. It's just so good. And I love the way that they did the bottle in this collection. It's just different. And I think I have a couple of these in uh, in my little stash and I just wanted to go ahead and just grab one more. Uh, the notes in it are lemon cream, red pomegranates, and iced raspberries topped with white woods and peony petals. Just good good stuff. Definitely recommend that one. And then all of the new fragrances that came out. I bought them all but one. The one that I didn't buy was the Brazil citrus brazil something citrus another it's the green it's the green one um it, yeah it was just i mean just like a typical citrusy fresh fragrance to me it wasn't anything special so i passed on that one um however i did get the body lotions and the shower gel and four of them i mentioned that this one was coming on my instagram it's the sweet tropical vanilla here is the packaging and then here's the shower gel and the notes in it are Tropical Vanilla, Sparkling Tangerine, Tiare Flower, Dulce de Leche, and Sugared Woods. This one smells, I get why they say Tropical Vanilla. Like it's sweet, it's a sweet vanilla. It's a warm sweet vanilla, but it has this tropical essence to it. Um, sort of almost like, I don't know, something like juicy and fruity in there. Did it even mention anything? Tangerine, I guess. There's just something juicy and fruity mixed with it that just makes it sort of unique. Um, so that it's just not just a bland vanilla scent. Um, so I really, really uh, like this one. Again, packaging's pretty. And then the next one that I got was the Juicy Pink Dragon Fruit. The packaging of that one. And then here is the shower gel. And if you're wondering, I didn't see these in the fragrance mist, I don't think. Um, I noticed the collections were kind of splotchy. It's like some things they would have, what is that? Some things they would have like some of the like body creams out and then some of the lotions, they wouldn't always have a complete collection. Um, but it does come in body creams. Um, again, I don't think I've seen fragrance mist. But anyway, the notes in this one are pink dragon fruit, wild water lilies, pomegranate, seraph. Um, C-A-I-P-I-R-I-N-H-A. -I, -I, I don't even know how in the world to pronounce that, but there you go. Jungle Plum and Passion Fruit Nectar. I just love this one. It's so, like, the, it's just juicy, fruity, tropical goodness. Definitely try these if you go to Bath and Body Works for the sale. Um, they're kind of, they're not on a table. None of the ones I went to, they weren't like on a table on their own display. You know, they were like on the side walls. Um, so be sure not to forget to check these out because they are really good. I really love them for spring. Um, good stuff. The next one is the Warm Coconut Blossom. Here is the packaging of this one. And here's the shower gel. And the notes in this one are Island Orchid, Coconut Water, Beach Blossom, White Peach, and Sandalwood Musk. This one is such 
a lovely coconut fragrance. It's if you're if you're like on the fence about coconut fragrances, like you kind of like them, you kind of don't. Um, this one is very mellow and like it's not. I just sorry. I just feel like my lighting is like so dark right now. I don't know. I'm sorry if it is. It's like it's really sunny over here and then it's darker on this, this side of the room. So I feel like this half of my face is really dark. Um, but this one is such a mellow coconut. Um, it's so pretty. It's almost like a coconut, like milky type fragrance. But it's not going to be a coconut that overwhelms you because I know some people just don't like coconut fragrances at all. But I feel like this one is one they should give a chance because it's just not like super coconut that, you know, where you're used to like, ones are just so, one, some are just like so tropical and they're just pure coconut, but not this one. It's very good. Maybe it's like that sandalwood musk that just kind of mellows it out. It's just very pretty. I really like this one. Um, so yeah. And I love the color. I just think that's pretty. And then the last one that I got was the cool Amazon, Amazon, Amazon. <laughs> and the, sorry, the cool Amazon rain. Here's the packaging. And here is the shower gel. And the notes in it are Amazon rain, Brazilian star fruit, Fragapani, Fragapani, you know, again with these words, I don't know how to pronounce it. Exotic Mandarin and Dewy Bamboo. The notes in that kind of remind me of Pure Paradise. This one's very fresh. I feel like this one is the freshest of the fragrances. And um, next to the one that I didn't get, probably the Brazil Citrus. I feel like that one is, you know, on the fresh side as well. But it's citrusy, whereas this one... Amazon Rain, I can like totally picture that. This one is just so fresh and clean, but it does have like notes in it that remind me of the Pure Paradise. It does, I mean it, I'm just going to my notes. It does remind me of Pure Paradise, maybe a little fresher, a little cleaner, um, but it does remind me, I think, of Pure Paradise if I'm thinking the right, the right way. And then the last body care item that I grabbed, this is also 50% off, that was the Aromatherapy Sleep Nighttime Tea Body Cream. Um, I don't typically buy aromatherapy products. Um, <laughs> several years ago they did the Aromatherapy Sleep, um, what was it, Honey Cinnamon, Cinnamon, what was it? Um, honey and Cinnamon, I don't know, it was Honey and Cinnamon, it's the purple... The pur it was purple and it had like gold mixed in. That was my absolute favorite aromatherapy, hands down. And they've never brought it back. They've never done anything. Like they've never done it in a repackage. It's just gone. And I just love that one. I wish they would bring it. This one, however, is pretty nice. I used it last night before I went to bed. And I really like the scent. And it did last on me. Like I didn't go straight to bed. Um, it did. I just noticed that when I did go to bed, I could still smell it on me. Um, so I just, I don't know, I think this is a really nice, calming, uh, fragrance. I definitely recommend checking it out. And again, that's the Nighttime Tea. Again, that one was only 50% off. And um, they're $15, so, you know, half off of $15 is still pretty decent, considering, you know, that is more expensive. Um, and then I got the Paris Amour perfume. Because if you didn't know, Paris Amour is going away. And it's becoming a retired fragrance, which means it will just be online only. Um, the notes in it are, let's see, French tulips, apple blossoms, and sparkling pink champagne. I like Paris some more. It's not one that I stock up on. Um, but I always like it. You know, if I like, I don't know. I, if I smell it, I like it. But again, it's not really something that I pull out to use or anything. But, you know, I've never had the perfume, so I thought I would grab it. And again, like I said, go early because they will mess up. This Bath & Body Works had it on a 75% off table, but it rang up 50% off. And then later on at a different Bath & Body Works, I seen that it was actually on a 50% off table. So it was only supposed to be 50% off. But since they put it on the wrong table, they changed the price for me and gave it to me for 75% off. So definitely excited about that because it is, or it was, $34.50 originally. So got a steal on that. And then I grabbed a couple of the $3 Wallflowers. I haven't really gone cr too crazy with the Wallflowers yet. I grabbed two of the Black Chamomile. 
Again, never tried this fragrance in the candle or, you know, the wallflowers. And um, so I'm excited to see if that one maybe is maybe a little stronger in the wallflower than what the candle seems, you know, seems like. Because the candle seems on the lighter side. And then I grabbed a berry vanilla bean, which smells like uh, Lucky Charm marshmallows in my opinion. And then I grabbed a cucumber melon just to try. I remember cucumber melon back in the day I used to like as a kid, uh, but now it's kind of one of those fragrances that you're like sick of <laughs> because they bring it back just about every time for the semi-annual sale. But I thought, hey, I don't think I've ever in my life tried it in a wallflower, so I thought I'd give it a try. And then, these aren't, these aren't really a sale, these are just pocket backs, sort of the new ones they put out. Um, here's the vanilla buttercream. And the cucumber melon. I do like it in the pocket back, I will say that. And the watermelon lemonade. Which I know if you're not a watermelon lemonade, you're like, why do they repackage that scent so many times? They repackage it a thousand different ways in candles and they repackage it. They come out with like a pocket back watermelon lemonade in so many different ways. And they just seem to repackage that one over and over and over again. But I personally love it. And I thought this packaging was really cute. And yeah guys, that is everything for my haul part one. If I do end up buying more stuff, um, I would definitely do another haul for you guys because I know a lot of you really enjoy these. And I did buy some uh, deer from their like Christmas decor, White Barn Sales Christmas decor. And there was two deer that I always liked. There was one that like stood up and there was one that laid down. And they were originally $59.50 a piece. But they were 75% off, like all of the Christmas decor was 75% off, like all of the Christmas decor they had on the table. Um, and everybody at each Bath and Body Works that I went to, they sold their like big sleigh. They had like this big red sleigh. They sold it at both Bath and Body Works or White Barns. And anyway, so I grabbed those reindeer and they were, like I said, 75% off and then with a coupon. I think I ended up getting them for like $8.88 a piece or something. It was crazy cheap. Um, so I was happy to get those. I really loved them and I definitely will use them next year for my Christmas decor. I love like deer for Christmas decor. I have a lot of them out this year and I just, I don't know, I just really like deer, reindeer, whatever you want to call them. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this haul. Again, let me know if you got any, found any good things down below. I love reading other people's finds. And yeah, be sure to follow me on Instagram. Again, I always post there first. 